The stylish and respectable Yuak appeared in Russia in 2011, both with five and three door bodies. And after restyling in 2015, we began to sell a spectacular convertible based on a three door. The car was equipped with petrol 2 liter force with a capacity of 240 forces, as well as a 2.2 liter turbo diesel in two versions for 150 and 190 horses. A crossover with a 150 horsepower engine and mechanics could be front wheel drive. By the way, the gearboxes are six speed manual and automatic. Petrol modifications were combined only with the automatic. After restyling in 2015, the diesel engine lost weight and volume up to 2 liters, and a 9-speed automatic transmission began to be equipped with all engines. Turbocharged engines are not sinless either, of which there are two on the UAC, a gasoline and a diesel 4. The 2-liter engine was borrowed from Ford along with congenital sores, fortunately, they do not appear on all instances. Here, as luck would have it, a gasoline unit can overeat engine oil, lose compression in the cylinders, which usually occurs according to some selective principle, for example, in one of four or immediately in the second and fourth. It is worse when the pistons burn out and their annular partitions break. The reason is mainly in aggressive driving with increased engine loads. The company recognized this as a design defect and changed the motors under warranty. And since 2014 to 2015, the problem has already been completely resolved. But the turbine, injection nozzles, oil pump, and the turbocharger itself are still at risk. The turbo diesel is generally reliable, although not without unpleasant nuances. His intercooler pipe bursts in severe frosts, he dubs, warps, and cracks, losing tightness. As the mechanics say, if the pipe has not burst yet, it will definitely burst in the near future. Some owners change it to a similar part from Cam AZ, it fits in place with little or no modifications. And besides, it is made of softer and more elastic silicone, less susceptible to temperature changes and overloads. On a 2.2-liter diesel engine, the exhaust gas return EGR, valve, as well as the turbocharger with the turbine, may fail. Therefore, the engine should be filled with high-quality synthetic engine oil and serviced only at proven gas stations. There is also a high probability of failure of the injection nozzles. If this happens, do not rush to order new parts. Officials' injectors generally cost some unrealistic money, about 200,000 rubles. But we have many specialized technical centers that offer modern ultrasonic cleaning technology in an oil bath for only 10,000 rubles. As a rule, even fairly clogged nozzles can be revived in this way. On the first cars, by 100,000 kilometers, the rear crankshaft oil seal was leaking. In later versions, this defect has already been fixed. If the engine lost power, and the car went into emergency mode, then most likely this is a consequence of the failure of the mechanism for changing the geometry of the turbine. Replacement is quite troublesome and costly. However, on the vast majority of used Range Rover Evokes, these problems are rare, and the company is constantly making adjustments to the design in order to increase the overall reliability of the crossover. Restyling The 2016 Evoque was unveiled at the Detroit Auto Show. The car received an updated front end, rear lights, and new technical equipment. Crossover's 2017 model year got a new infotainment system in Control Touch Pro with enhanced functionality. Transmission. But with gearboxes, everything is more or less smooth. The mechanical one is generally trouble-free, and the six-speed automatic does not cause any special problems, although isolated cases of its failure still took place. As a rule, it was necessary to change the torque converter the hydraulic valve block and the clutch package. Well, that is not often, and repairs are not expensive. After all, the automatic transmission is also borrowed from Ford. In order for the automatic transmission to live to old age, it is necessary to periodically update the transmission oil, and together with the filter. In 2014, petrol modifications received a modern 9-speed automatic. The unit has not yet accumulated detailed fault statistics. But on the first versions with such a box, the control unit was periodically reflashed due to the twitching of the car during acceleration. At the same time, the dealers changed the software several times until they achieved an adequate response of the automatic transmission to gas actions. There are no special problems in the all-wheel drive transmission. The Haldex coupling is a priori reliable. By 150,000 kilometers, the angular gear wears out, and the rear differential control unit may also fail.
it is advisable to change the oil in both gearboxes and the clutch according to the regulations or even earlier. But with the control electronics there were troubles. The fact is that the selector is recessed in the same plane with the console, and when the engine starts, it smoothly moves up. The gears are switched by turning the puck, it looks very stylish. So, that the machine selector washer can break at any time. She simply does not want to go back from there, or, having barely risen, she immediately descends and hides. Naturally, the car cannot move at the same time. Like many electrical glitches, the problem can be resolved by simply restarting the engine. Which, however, does not always help, and then the direct path to the dealer. If they recognize the defect as a warranty case, they change the washer assembly with the block. Today this malfunction has already been localized. Suspension. There are practically no pitfalls in the Evogue independent suspension, except for rather loud noises when driving. Moreover, the sources are both from the front of the car and from the back. It seems to be a trifle, but not every owner of a premium crossover will tolerate such a musical accompaniment. The problem turned out to be a design flaw in some elements of the running gear, rubber bands and silent blocks of which made extra noise during operation. On restyled versions, these parts were replaced with modernized ones. By the way, hence the biting prices for spare parts from dealers. Since, for example, the levers are not just aluminum, and even come complete with ball bearings and silent blocks. Replacing a set of front ones will cost an average of 60,000 rubles, and they usually take care of 60,000 to 100,000 kilometers. About the same amount with stand shock absorbers. But in the adaptive suspension, replacing the front strut will cost three times more. True, they have a pretty decent resource, about 100,000 km. Conclusion. As you can see, the Range Rover Evogue refutes the prevailing negative opinion about the reliability of crossovers of this brand. Of course, the car is not without some problems, but they do not appear on every car. Some UAC owners, even with high mileage, did not know any problems with the car at all. Yes, and when choosing a specific instance, you cannot bother. After all, the gasoline and diesel versions are about the same in terms of reliability.